What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Eric, from Easy Computer Solutions. So today, guys, I'm going to do low-life photography and video on the iPhone 10, the LG G6, and the Galaxy S9 Plus. So we're going to see which device is going to be king supreme in low-life scenario. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. And I clean the camera lens. Let's go. So this is 1080p, 30 frames per second on the LG G6, the iPhone 10, and the Galaxy S9. Want y'all guys to see this as we film this in uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second. This is all low light. Uh, and so you be the judge for yourself. And I got all three cameras in auto mode. So y'all guys can be, see this. Yes. And uh, as you look at the Ray Robin sign, uh, you be the judge for yourself with all three devices and I can tell you looking at the viewfinder that the Galaxy S9 Kind of represents the nice colors there in all low light. So let's go here. Let's move around And uh, look at this and I'm gonna go audio from every device So y'all guys can hear all audio on every device and there it is right Kind of turn around and you be the judge for yourself. Look at that, this in low light. Now this is a fan request. Uh, and I can tell you that one of my favorite phones is the LG G6, especially in manual mode. Auto mode is a different story, but in manual mode, you can make all your adjustments and uh, with the LG G6, and it does a pretty good job. Now, I can tell you that uh, all three devices got optical image stabilization. So there it is, but I want y'all guys to see this as I walk around here. Yes. And look at the sky, look at the blacks. Which one give you the deeper blacks? As we pan around, iPhone 10, LG G6, Galaxy S9. Now we got the aperture, variable aperture on the Galaxy S9. So I am in all low light in auto mode. So I believe that the 1.5 kick in to kind of pull in that ultra light yes so let's go on the switch to 1080p 60 frames per second on all devices all right so this is 1080p 60 frames per second on the galaxy s9 plus the lg g6 and the iphone 10 and uh let y'all guys see now look at the fire hydrant which one give you the better details let's look at that for a second at 1080p 60 frames per second on all three devices look at that and i can tell you again looking at the viewfinder uh the galaxy s9 look like it gives me the better details at 1.5 kicking in kind of bringing in that extra light as you can see got my shadow here all right so let's go to the walk again optical image stabilization on all devices there and I don't think we're going to have a focusing problem on none of these devices. But let's go out on the walk. See if we can get some of this uh, plants in here. Look at the red as we go along here. Yes, and this is all low light right here on every device. Now, let's look at this sign here. All right. Let's look at that. 1080p 60 frames per second now let's go close here to this sign see if we can get some focus points let's look at that and let's see if we can go here there all three devices doing a good job and we're going to do some focusing yes and i tell you the lg g6 is one of my go-to devices for manual mode uh to film a lot of my videos but the uh I could tell you that the Galaxy S9 uh, has been impressing me when it comes down to the cameras, uh, especially in low light. Little, pretty good here. All right. Yes. And again, let's walk. 
Let's get some of this color in here as we walk. Yes. Well, I can tell you, I'm looking at the LG G6 viewfinder. You be the judge for yourself. Which raid give you the nice deeper raid? And I, I can tell you, from my advantage point, looking at the viewfinder, whew, the LG G6 giving me a nice, pretty raid. The iPhone giving me a dark raid. And uh, the uh, Galaxy S9 giving me a, a kind of washed out raid. But I don't know. You be the judge for yourself. I'm just only looking at the viewfinder on all three devices. All right, so here it is. 4K at 60 frames per second on the Galaxy S9 Plus, the iPhone 10 at 4K 60, and uh, the LG G6 is 4K at 30 frames per second. All right, so let's look at that. Which one give you the more clearer picture here? Just look at that, right? And you be the judge for yourself. I wiped the camera lens off so there's no issues there, but look at that. Which one give you the more clear look here? And I can tell you from my advantage point, looking at the viewfinder, the LG G6 looking pretty good right now. But again, uh, I would have to put it on the computer and check it out. Uh, but this is what it is, right? And let's go to the walk. And uh, again, I'm gonna go audio from side to side so all you guys can hear the audio from every device. Let's look at that, 4K. 60 frames per second, just beautiful. Just beautiful. All right, so let's go on and swing around here. As let's look at the Red Robin. Looks pretty decent there. And again, I think for my vantage point that the Galaxy S9 Plus looks pretty good. The iPhone looks a little dark, but again, you be the judge for yourself. How about the audio on all devices? as I go from audio from every side of each device so y'all guys can hear the audio with each device. All right, let's walk. One of the things I wanna look at here is look at that brick. Kind of get out of the way there. Look at that brick, all right? Now, that brick looks pretty good on an iPhone because that brick kind of represents that color. Look at that detail of that brick. And from my vantage point, the iPhone give you a little more detail. First place iPhone, second place is gonna be the Galaxy S9 Plus and the LG G6 look like it doesn't have any detail, but let's look, go a little deeper to that. Let's look at that detail there. And uh, yes, yeah, so you can see that the detail is a little more on the iPhone and then come the Galaxy. But again, this is my vantage point. You be the judge for yourself. We're looking at both of these devices at 4K, 60 frames per second here. All right. Now let's look at that plant. Go around here and let's look at the sky. Deep blacks. Which one give you the deeper blacks? There it is. All right, so let's go ahead and switch to the front facing camera with all three devices. All right, so this is the front-facing camera on the LG G6, the iPhone 10, and the Galaxy S9 Plus. And as you can see, listen, I can tell you right now that the uh, LG G6 is going to fail this one. The front-facing camera on this device is terrible. But let's go ahead and put it to the test. And uh, as y'all guys see, uh, that the blacks, and I can tell you, looking at the front-facing camera on the LG G6, it's bad looking at the front face of camera on the iPhone 10 is woof, wow I don't know you be the judge for yourself but looking at the front face of camera on the uh, Galaxy S9 Plus yes oh it's a it's a it's a goal all right so let's go on and uh, let y'all guys see some of the stuff here all right there it is all right, so this is the front facing camera on the LG G6, the Galaxy S9 Plus, and the iPhone 10. This is Eric from Music Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think on all three of these devices in action. See you guys on the next video. Peace.